Hi, it's me, SS Reed. So um, this is going to be a bit of an unscripted video. Now, this this kind of just came out like now. So I don't, yeah, I'm just going to be kind of rambling for a bit. Um, the news just broke as of recording this about 30 minutes ago, 15, 20 minutes ago, that the creator of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, has passed away. He was 68 years old. I was not crazy for Dragon Ball, but I did like, I mean, of course, I like Chrono Trigger. I, I love Dr. Slump, but his was, uh, Toriyama, he was the kind of creator you can't really ignore. Anime today would not be what it is today. I mean, Dragon Ball pretty much set the preset for modern shonen, inspiring One Piece, Bleach, Naruto, all of those. And yeah, it's <laughs> my friend just sent me the news. It was actually kind of hard for me to wrap to wrap my head around, really. Um, but yeah, it really is one of the biggest losses for a creator I've seen in the 21st century. Because it did was I was I always I was thinking back to when Stan Lee passed away a few years ago. And how big that was. Toriyama's death is basically like the anime equivalent of that. He not only transcended Japan, he brought the whole world together with his characters, with Goku, Vegeta. And even if you don't like Dragon Ball, you can't deny the impact that he's had. You can't deny that impact that Dragon Ball has had. It really was a shame to hear that news come out. And... I don't really, like I, like I said, I'm just kind of rambling at this point. But I I guess what I'm just trying to say is, Toriyama, thank you for everything that you've done, for everything you've made. Ah.